Hey YouTube, this is just a video on how to check your glow plug relay. Um, a lot of you guys might need this if your truck is having issues cold starting, your relay might be bad. That was what happened to me personally. My truck wouldn't start at all whatsoever if it was below 40 degrees unless I plugged it in, which is a pain in the ass to have to plug your truck in when it's under 40 degrees. They should be starting well lower than that without plugging them in. Um, so I'd cycle my glow plugs in the morning for about 20 minutes with nothing. So I got on top, I checked the glow plug relay, it fixed my cold start issue, it started in 10 degrees fine the other day, hope it fixes your issue. Thanks for watching. Okay guys, today we're going to be showing you how to check your glow plug relay to see if it's bad. So you aren't going to need many tools today, you're just going to need your test meter or your fluke meter. You can get a cheap one like this at any hardware store, this was free at Harbor Freight if you have the coupon. And you want to get just a base for how much voltage your batteries are putting out. So we're going to start off on 20 dCV, and my batteries are reading 12.81 volts. So that's just so you know how much juice is running through your system. We're going to leave it grounded. Then we're going to take your positive, and we're going to go back behind the power stroke plate. Back here to that right there. That's the relay. Now there is a relay in front of it. You don't want to use that one. You want to use the one in the back closest to your Y clamp and what you want to do is you want to touch this sometimes you might have to take the boot off right there but you want to touch this to the left side like so then you should read your test meter it should read the same as your battery and the left side is just power to the glow plug relay so that means that my relay is getting power now the right side this is the power when you turn the ignition so your glow plugs obviously aren't getting power right now, but when you turn the ignition and the wait to start comes on, power should flip across the relay and pop that on. So right now my key's out of the ignition, this should read zero when I touch it. That's good. Now, what you want to do is you want to have somebody else hop in the cab of the truck, turn the key until the wait to start light comes on, and you want to sit here with your positive on the right side, your black grounded, the negative grounded, and you're going to watch your test meter. Now you're going to tell them to turn the key to the wait to start. If your relay is bad like mine, it's not going to change. If your relay is good, this is going to shoot up to about, my battery was reading 12.78. So when I turn the key in the cab, this does not change. That's how you know your relay is bad. Now a few things you want to be careful on. That screw all the way towards the back goes to your PCM. If you somehow touch the wrong thing, or you, uh, a lot of people arc the right side to the left side to use their glow plugs and start their truck if their relay actually did go bad, if you touch that, you can short out your PCM, and your engine, when you turn the ignition, actually will not send any power to this because it won't be grounded inside your PCM. So you want to be careful not to touch either, either of those two, and just the one on the left and the one on the right side. Now I just got the part in, I'm going to do another video on how to change this and how to fix it out. It's two, I believe they're 11 millimeter deep wells. So I have another video coming soon. Thanks for watching, stay tuned.